a little hand last night, so dainty and so sweet. No other hand did I hold that, uh, what is it today? I'm forgetting the lines. God, I can't even read. You know what they say, the mind's the second thing to go. Rocky is uh, an exciting uh, Italian uh, house painter who actually painted uh, Francis Ford Coppola's uh, house and uh, he claims he was supposed to be in The Godfather, but uh, we have our reservations. I became a, a house painter. We started, we painted for guys like Lee Marvin, Cameron Mitchell, Kitty on Gunsmoke, uh, Lloyd Nolan, a great guy, Paul Fix who's in all the John Wayne movies. And that's the story of the painting. But when I got married, I didn't even have a job. So I don't know why my wife married me, except that I was good looking and personality, you know, and all that stuff. Now, uh, Rocky's hard to talk about. Hey, what the hell no, you no, want to do? Put me on the spot. Keep my hand you gotta, over you them. He's out reading glasses. You got two pairs of glasses. Yeah, where the hell are they? Where are the sunglasses? You need to get yeah. your lens fixed. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Here's the Phil Silver's glasses. Oh, yeah. that's Phil Silver's glass? He's um, a big Italian, you know. Got the, well, I'm Irish, so I say he got the O in the wrong end of his name when he's Italian, you know. Good morning, Mr. Zip Zip Zip, with your haircut just to show it out of mine. Rocky, uh, Rocky, uh, Rocky. Uh, I'd have to tell you in Italian, and, and uh, there's a word in Italian that describes Rocky. I mean, there is, but I can't say it, I tell. I can't say it, I can't. C'è la luna mezza mare, mamma mia, mare tagli, boom, 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 boom. He's a Sicilian. No, he isn't. He says he's Napolitan. No, he said he was Napolitan. He's not Sicilian. I thought he was Sicilian. Are you Italian? I'm Napolitan. Sure. That's the kind I get, too. But she likes the regular and a croissant. A what? Uh, uh, almond croissant. Is that the right way to say it? Yeah, almond croissant. I don't know, I guess it's French. No, no, Rocky, and I got no. Get him out of me. I'm scared, yeah. Rocky. Hey, yeah, thank you, money. <laughs> thank you, Rocky. Now, we got great movies, and now what we have to do is talk to Woody and to show them. What were you going to do? Oh, I, uh, you know, gee, that's kind of, I think I, I showed I wrote it down in the book. I'm going to find the movie that my wife wrote down there somewhere. This is Rocky's iPad. My version of the iPad. Yeah, the iPad. Oh, here they are. All right, here they are. Here they are. You ready? Uh, Cloak and Dagger, Hoodlum Empire, City That Never Sleeps, Desperados of the West, Federal Agent versus the Underworld. Iron Claw, a night to remember. That's my pick. I was 10 years old. Gunga Dim was my favorite movie. I liked Victor McLaughlin, Fairbanks Jr., and Cary Grant. And I liked the action. Take your hands off that man. The other one is Robin Hood. Errol Flynn is my favorite. And uh, then there's a Maltese Falcon with Humphrey Bogart. The Guns of Navarone. Uh, those are my top guys. I, I can keep on going. At my age, I went through a lot of them, you know. Jerome Cortland, mm -hmm. uh, an actor. Mm -hmm. He was a he was a yeah. medium star. He wasn't he, anybody. The and then here he is today. Point. Oh, <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what happens to us, isn't it? You know, I think men age uh, age better. Like Dean Martin, he was better older. Sinatra looked better older. Well, they were both pretty fitful, I mean. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well for you, did it, Rocky? <laughs> you came in a little too late. What happened to your hair, Woody? I never realized you you were hairless. You still going to the gym? I don't know why. <laughs> from the old school. Given those old actors and actresses, and I, I just don't think, it's a different setup altogether. The younger crowd likes the younger, and the older crowd, you ask them, they'll go for the older. 
private eye. I gotta get one of those patches, I think, you know? What was that movie the guy had a... Well, I was watching a movie the other day. This guy got drunk and then this woman got mad at him and she kicked him and she kicked him and put his eye out. And then he's going around with a patch over his eye. Old uh, Ralph Meeker. Remember that? Yeah, I remember him, but yeah. I don't remember that. I, uh, the no. movie, Wild Night or something was called. Carolyn Baker. Remember Carolyn Baker? Oh, sure, sure. Yes. Uh, Ralph Meeker locks her up in this room with him. In there, and then it's, it's a little movie called something night. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I know it was Ralph Speaker. And then he comes home drunk, and he starts he starts getting on her, and he goes and gives him a kick, and, and he loses his eye. Oh boy! And then he, next, the rest of the picture, he's got this patch on his eye. Oh boy! Oh, I'm up on my knees, sonny boy. Wild Night, that's was the name of it. Not to be a prude, but in the old days, a couple got in bed, and it was the day after. Now they go and show you, they, 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 you know, they go as far as they, like they're really doing it and stuff. But in those days, they left a lot to the imagination, which I found better. And that's what I used to like about radio. You had a picture who the person was, you know, like a gun smoke or... Or, or any of the old uh, Gildersleeve, uh, Jack Benny. But of course now with the TV, you know who they are, what they look like. But the fat man, the thin man, back in those days, you didn't know. It made it more interesting, I think. And that's the way I see it. Now, my father used to say the good old days. I'm going to be saying the same thing about these guys today. They're going to be saying the good old days, you know. And I can't even understand some of the songs. Like they got a rag in their mouth. You gotta be with it, you know what I mean? I enjoy it, but I don't dig it as much as uh, Frank Sinatra, Perry Como, Dean Martin, Tony Bennett, Nat King Cole. I love, I love their voices. And the funny thing is, most of the Italians are singers in Vegas, and the comedians are Jewish. And it's a trend, you know, it just works out that way. I'm Chiquita Banana and I come to say, you want to get your teacher right out of the way. You peel a banana, put it on the floor, <laughs> watch the teacher go phew, right out of the door. <laughs> manana, manana, manana is good enough for me. <laughs> Unforgettable. In every way And forevermore That's how you stay That's why, darling It's incredible That someone so unforgettable Thinks that I am unforgettable too.